headquarters of the Maratha Empire, this city is home to rich history and culture. Today I am an explorer of the city close to my heart. Pune Also known as the Oxford of the East. This is a city I visit every chance I get. It is my second home. Being a Maharashtrian Mulgi myself, this city's history will surely swell me up with pride as today I explore the Shaniwar Vada. Hi Pooja. Hi Sai. Nice Lovely meeting, meeting you. you. How are you? I'm good. Yes. Well, this is very exciting. I've only read about this in history books. Yeah. Never actually been here physically. I would love to show you this place. Yeah. Chala, let's Chalo. go. Let's Chalo. go. The entrance is from here. Okay. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot one. of exactly. It takes yeah. a lot of time. Oh, wow. And your energy, half of the energy is absolutely gone. Ah, so yes, finally this is uh, the first floor of the Vada. And as you see, this is the bastion. So there are two bastions here. This is on this side, and the other one is at the uh, other side. As well. Yeah. Here you get the whole view of the courtyard. Where are we now? So this, the place where we are standing. Okay, the wall is almost as you can see. This is uh -huh. five feet, and also it is a pathway where you know the Peshwas used to walk from here. Take a stroll. Take maybe. a stroll. Exactly. Amazing, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. So I heard. There used to be palaces here. The place where we are standing right now, it's the palace. And this is the courtyard. And the periphery, what you see, is the periphery of the uh, palace. They have planned it so beautifully with the landscape, you know. I think there are six to eight fountains here. The main fountain is at the center of the, the lotus, fountain. lotus fountain. And uh, this place now, you know, they have this uh, night lights and everything show going on. This place is magnificent without Amazing. lights also. Yes, absolutely it is. Wow. Pooja, is there any specific reason that this Vada is called Shaniwar Vada? When the foundation was done of the Vada, mm -hmm. it was uh, in 1730s and the day was Saturday. So, oh. yeah, so day was Saturday and that's the reason, you know, people say that it's Shaniwar Vada Shani. because of uh, that thing. Vada. Who would live here exactly? This Shaniwar Vada was built for the residents of Peshwas for him to stay here, for his family to stay here. I had a wonderful insight into the history. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you so lovely much, Sayed. It was lovely I meeting I shall continue my journey. Thank you so Thank much. Bye-bye. A walk immersed in history has tingled my inner senses. Pune is a very big educational hub. Students from all over the world come here for their higher studies. I am standing at one of the oldest institutions of Pune, ILS Law College. In fact, the whole street is named after this institution. It's called Law College Road. And Law College Road has some other prominent institutions like Film and Television Institute of India, popularly known as FTII, Symbiosis and many more. I am truly amazed by the strength of this country. I think that is what the spirit of this nation is, to keep going no matter what. My favorite part of any city is its food, so I'm going to make a quick stop at Dorabji. Sala? Parsi food is appeasing and uncomplicated, and it has gained popularity over the decades in Pune and Mumbai. Serving up food from his Iranian heritage, the Rayas here has a variety of meals enjoyed by hundreds every single day. Hi, the Rayas. Hi, it's how are you doing? It's lovely meeting you. I'm a huge fan of old school joints and look at this place, it's perfect. Thank you. So this is your baby? Yeah, this is my baby. This is my family baby. Okay, yeah. it's your family baby. I'm, I'm the fourth generation. My great-grandfather started this okay. in 1878. 1878? Yeah, yeah. way before independence. Oh. And he started as a tree stall. 
with a brown masca and tea stall place and he saw the demand of food and that's how he started with Pakshi food and there's no looking back after that. We still cook on wood fire, we're still on the primitive way of cooking. Wow. In fact, you can have a look at the kitchen when you're, when you're free. I would love to. Of course. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I got a chance to work in, in an, an actual kitchen because I played a chef in a film. Really? And I know yeah. that this is a passion driven job. Tell me how old is your staff and uh, Like, if you see Prakash, how many years have Prakash? 40 years of service. 40 years of service. Wow! 1981. Se. Yeah. My youngest staff, like the youngest uh, tenure will be 18 years. He's, He's 18 years of service. I think this explains your legacy and yes. your authenticity and your exclusivity as yeah, well. Thank you. Wow, thank you. that's amazing. There's a story here. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we having? We are having dhansa, saliboti, and cutlets also. Yes. Tell me, what are the popular dishes here? See, Sali Ghosh is one of the most popular dishes. This? Yeah, okay. this, yeah. So it's basically mutton with gravy, mm -hmm. okay, and this is fine but it was straws which is served on it, and you have it with chapati. And that is the dhan sak which is there. It's caramelized rice with mutton cooked with dal and vegetables. So it cooks for about four hours. So you still cook on wood fire? Yeah, we still cook on wood fire. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what keeps us different, you know? It's delicious. Thank you. The menu, the menu is the same since 1878. We have menus from the older generation. It's still running the way it is. I can't talk anymore. Please let me eat, let me be. Bye. As the Parsi community has adapted to the Indian culture over the years, so has the Parsi cuisine by developing a niche for itself. It is a sin to visit Pune and not seek Dagdu Shet's blessings. Chala Tarma, Ganpati Bappa Moria. The Dagdu Shet temple was built in the 19th century, over 125 years ago from today. A priest here tells me that this temple was built for the welfare of the society. In fact, a couple who lost their son to an epidemic had a calling and they built this temple. Jai Jai. Rubbing my nose here symbolizes that I am seeking forgiveness for all my sins. Dagdushi Temple gained popularity as the most adorned deity in Pune years later when Lokmana Turk organized annual Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations. This means I am passing these blessings to you all. Ganpati Bappa! Mangal Murti! It is a part of my ritual that when I'm done seeking blessings from Dagdu Shet, I have to come to Kaka Halwai. And I was so fast that I didn't wear a shirt. Hi, Kaka. I'm all set to devour sweets loaded with ghee. Today, no diet. Malai peda do na? Thank you. Oh my God, you have to come here and taste this. Let's explore the city's next gem. Sala. The German bakery was started with the purpose to feed foreigners who missed food back at home. The USP was always a quick bite with real coffee. Difficult situations only make us stronger. And German bakery right here is a living example of that. After the terror attack in 2010, this place still stands tall, giving a tight slap to such atrocity. Hi, could I have one black coffee, please? I am really glad to have rediscovered my state with new set of eyes. 
hospitality and welcoming nature of my people was heartwarming. I urge you all to come and visit my state and fall in love with her people and places the way I have. Signing off now, but I hope to see you very soon.